Semi-final number one, then. Oh, it's a randomised grid, apparently. But I don't, I don't think it is. I think that's been... I think the game has arranged that's those one, by three, qualifying five, seven, position. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Quinton Del Olmo and Kylian Del Olmo, the brothers are on the inside. Kevin Hansen and Marius Birmingham, so four Peugeot 208 WRXs across the inside of the grid. Kevin Abring on the outside, and do you know what? That's not a bad place to be because Kevin could potentially here pull off an outside to inside move. So Kev... Very inside. Right, waiting for the lights to change. Here we go. If, if Birmingham Group was on pole, the grid was wrong, Neil. So Birmingham Group was on pole. That's what confused me at the start. So Birmingham Group on yes. pole. Getting away now in front. It's one of the Del Omos up the inside. Killian Del Omo takes the lead. Birmingham Group runs wide. Marius Birmingham Group has run wide and dropped down the order almost in the wall at the end of the run. But just about holds on over the crest then. Marius Birmingham in P3, a mistake on the inside there from Abring as well. So Abring ran himself a little bit deep after the jump. We've got two cars who must have had contact in turn one. Quinton Del Olmo, the TQ man, has dropped right back with Kevin Hansen. So Quinton Del Olmo, who you're looking at now, is seven seconds off the back of the pack, Neil. So something happened to them in turn one and they dropped yeah, and way I, off. And remember, this isn't about time anymore. So they could easily find themselves not going through to the semi unless they pick up the base. That's so the final, got, I mean. Yeah, we've got two semi-finals here, five cars in each. And what you're going to find is that the top two from each semi-final go through. And then the fastest loser from the two semi-finals. So, ah, Del Olmo hit the barrier. We're hearing from race control and reverse back into Kevin. So Del Olmo could actually get a penalty for that because I've read the regs and you're supposed to re-enter the track at, at an angle which follows the racing line. So, but that could have cost Kevin Hansen. My goodness me, look how close that was from Birmingham. Oof. Marius Birmingham coming out in front of Quinton Del Olmo by the finest of margins there. Slingshot that was amazing. past him. Yeah. Yeah, where, he came out the, of the, the Joker and he just did not back off. No, perfect line. Kevin Abring. Is right behind Killian Del Olmo. So Abring here is going with Killian Del Olmo. Killian, the world champion at Dirt Rally 2.0. And Kevin Abring is giving her a right run for his money. Go on, Kevin. Six laps, remember. So this is a much longer encounter, Neil. If I were Kevin, I'd be tempted to follow, but he's not. He's quicker. Kevin Abring thinks he's quicker than Killian Del Olmo and has got. And where is he going to come back out? He's going to come back out in second. Birmingham, look, he's a good new car. He's behind. So it's 3.3 seconds. Now, if I was Del Olmo, Neil, unless Del Olmo may have a problem, if he has, he needs to choke a now, doesn't he, so that he can hold Kevin Abring off. But that was very smart, I think, by Kevin Abring, because now he's got gap out front, gap behind, and we've seen he's got better and better and quicker this whole uh, session, all qualifying and now in the semi. So if even if Killian manages to seal the victory here after he's jokered, then Kevin's still guaranteed a place in the final. So that was very smart. Uh, he could That's win the race. Up. It, it's gone yeah. up from 3.3 to 3.8. Del almost pushing big time. Slight mistake, maybe a little over rotation there. Kevin Abring coming around now. Let's see what the time is as they come onto the back trace. Down to two. So it was a mistake from Killian Del Olmo. He got it up by three, four tenths of a second. And as I said, Killian, I thought Mike Joker, when he when he thought he just had enough time, maybe needs a little bit longer, of course, in the wet than he, than he did in dry conditions. So Kevin Abring, 2.2. And we're hearing 10 second penalty. Quinton Dalomo gets a 10 second penalty. So the TQ man will not make it through. It's a great shame for him, but he made him a, had a, a contact in turn one and reversed into the path of Kevin Hansen. So those guys out. Neil, the other important thing here for Birmingham is if, if he's not going to win or be in P2, he needs to be the fastest loser. So he doesn't need the contact he's getting in the background from Quinton. Yeah, that's right. You kind of want. Uh, Contan to sort of back off and allow Marius to drive his own race because this could jeopardise Birmingham's chance of being in the final as the as the better fifth driver. So this is Abring versus Del Olmo and the gap is down at the second but Del Olmo's taken the joker now so Del Olmo has taken the joker and Del Olmo's going to be in front they've got a lap to go but I have to say this is really really impressive by Kevin Abring Neil he's definitely picked up the pace during the course of this competition he's right on the pace now of the Eastwood regulars. We wouldn't expect him really from a guy who works with simulations as much as he does. He just hasn't had the time. Oh, he's having a look. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's improved lap on lap, race on race. But you've got to feel that Killian doesn't have to push at this point. The surface isn't completely reliable to commit on uh, because it's half dry, half wet. So um, Killian will be 
aware that Kevin's behind him, but he doesn't need to take any risks. This isn't about Demi time. Final this is about, about winning. Yeah, Killian Del Olmo is going to take the win in semi final number one. Del Olmo goes through to the final. Kevin Avering with him. P3 is with us, and it was contact, definitely. Marius Birmingham has lost out, unfortunately, there. Quinton Del Olmo with that contact in the, earlier in the race is going to get a 10 second penalty, which I think will be added to that time, or has the penalty been added already? I'm going to ask Race Control to look at that for me.